for. So today we're going to do two of my favourite things, Spanish and cooking. Okay, you should have all had the notes on Friday about what we're going to cook. We're going to make a Spanish omelette. So you'll need five big potatoes, one onion and four or five eggs, some oil and some salt. Okay, should we have a read of those in Spanish? Okay, so we're going to make tortilla española. We need cinco patatas grandes. Can you say that? Cinco patatas grandes. Una cebolla. Una cebolla. Cuatro o cinco huevos. Can you repeat that one? Cuatro o cinco huevos. Aceite. This is the aceite, the oil. And sal, which is the salt. Okay, I'll we'll pop that up here. Hopefully you can see it. Okay, so I've got a helper with me today. This is my son Luca. And he's in year four, so he's going to be my helper in the kitchen today. Okay, so I'm going to keep pausing the video to give you a chance to catch up, to make the video a little bit shorter. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to peel and wash our potatoes and then we'll, I'll show you how to slice them. Okay, so get your potatoes, peel and wash them. Actually, before we do that, you need to wash your hands. Make sure you've washed your hands and make sure you've got a grown-up to help you. Okay? Okay, so you should have peeled and washed your potatoes by now. Now I want you to chop your potatoes. So I'm using a very sharp knife here. So make sure you ask one of your grown-ups to help you. Okay, I'm going to let Luca have a go at chopping the potatoes, but make sure you're doing it with a grown-up. They need to be sliced really, really thinly for this recipe. Okay, or it won't cook. So, can you see how thin I've sliced the slices? As thin as you possibly can, that's why I'm using a sharp knife. Okay. Luca, do you want to have a go at chopping some? Yeah. We're going to chop all the potatoes like that and I'm going to chop the onion into really small pieces as well. Okay, so make sure you ask a grown-up to help you chopping your potatoes and your onions. Okay, I'll give you time to do that. Pause the video now. Okay, I hope you're doing okay chopping that potato. Luca's just finishing this bit off for me. Okay, we've chopped our onion as well. Can you see how small the onion is? I've chopped it really small. You don't have to put onion in it if you don't like onion. You can just do potato. Okay, that potato all nice and thin. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you think you've got too much potato, you don't need to use it all. It needs to be able to fit in your frying pan. Okay, so now I've got my frying pan. I'm going to put some oil in it now. Now I'm using olive oil. This olive oil might come from, oh it does, it comes from Spain because they grow olives in Spain, okay? If you've not got any olive oil, you can use another kind of oil like sunflower oil or vegetable oil. And I'm going to put that on the cooker and heat up the oil. Let's show them how much we're putting in. Pour it in. So you need quite a lot of oil. Maybe three or four tablespoons or even five or six tablespoons of oil. You don't want the potatoes and the onions to stick. No. Maybe a little bit more. Okay, we can always add some more oil. Can you save quite a lot in there? Okay, and then I'm going to heat that up. Now be very, very careful. You'll need a grown-up to help you do this because oil gets really, really hot. Okay, and then I'm going to put, when that's heated up, I'm going to put my potatoes and onion into the oil. And I'm not going to fry them really... Um, in really really hot oil or else they'll just go brown and burn I'm going to fry them quite gently so they're kind of boiling in the oil okay so I'll give you a chance now to put, to warm up your oil and then put your potatoes and onion into the hot oil okay okay so I've got my pan of potato and oil and onions now and can you see how much oil is in there? I'm just coating all the potatoes and onion in the oil so none of them stick and none of them burn. 
Okay, and that's going to take a little while now just for them to heat up. We need to try and cook them through. Okay, so that'll probably take a good 10 minutes now on your heat. Keep stirring them. Careful when they get soft though that you don't stir them too much or you'll end up with mashed potato. Okay, we'll keep cooking that. Ruby, do you want to come put it on pause? Right, so while your potatoes and onion are cooking, you might be able to hear I was sizzling away, Luke is just cracking the eggs into a mixing bowl. Okay, he's making sure very carefully he doesn't get any shell into the egg mixture. Okay, so if your eggs are big, then four should be enough, but if they're only small, then maybe use five. Or if they're small, maybe even use six if they're only little eggs. Okay, so put them all into the mixing bowl. If you do get any shell in, don't worry, just pick it back out. You don't want a crunchy omelette. Okay, let me show you what the potatoes look like as well. Can you see they're starting to cook through? Oops, they're starting to cook through and they're going a little bit see-through now. They're still covered in oil. I'm mixing them a little bit so that they don't stick and they don't burn. Okay, they're starting to smell really good. Okay, just be very careful because this pan will be hot. Okay, keep stirring it. Do you remember year four? We made this last year, didn't we, in class? So you should all be experts at making this. You should be able to help your grown-ups. Okay, how are you getting on, Luca? Good. Okay, so once you've got all those eggs cracked into the bowl, he's going to get his whisk and he's going to mix them. Mix, 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 mix. If you've got an electric whisk, you could use that. That might be a bit quicker. Okay. And mix as well as you can, stir it up, stir it up. That's it. Keep mixing until it's really, really frothy. Okay, good. Keep going. I'll give you a chance to do that. Pause the video here. Okay, so Luke has been whisking these eggs, beating the eggs. Can you see, Luke, can they see if I do it like this? Can you see what they need to look like? Yeah, really nice and frothy. So we're going to beat a little bit more. Okay, the potatoes are still cooking. I'll show you what the potatoes look like. They're cooking away, but I'm keeping mixing them so they're not getting burnt and not sticking to the pan. If you don't think you've got enough oil in there, add a little bit more oil. Okay, they're starting to smell really nice. They're starting to cook through. Okay, look, we just pause it a minute, let everybody get a chance to catch up. Yeah. Okay, so these have been cooking for about 10 minutes now and they probably need a little bit longer still. They still feel a little bit raw. If you're not sure, ask your grown-up to help you get a piece out, let it cool down and then just slice into it and you should be able to tell if the potatoes cooked or not. Okay, and I just remember we've forgotten to add our salt. Now, too much salt is not very healthy, but it does make the tortilla taste really nice. So we're going to add a little bit of salt into our potatoes. Do you want to do that, Luca? Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm just going to cook them for another Which one is five or so minutes. Okay, okay Luca, just pop that salt in. It's done. Yeah. Okay, so it probably took about 20 minutes in the end to actually cook these potatoes and onions. I've tasted the potato and it tastes just right. You don't want it to be too cooked or it goes too mushy, but you don't want it to be raw, so it's just getting it just right. Can you see the onions have just started to go like a golden colour? That's a good way to judge whether it's ready. But I would, if you get a grown-up to get a piece out and just taste it just to check if the potato is ready. Okay, right, Luca, we're going to put these potatoes into the Pan. eggs. So, can you hold the bowl for me? I'm going to pour my potatoes, which are really hot and the pan is hot, so ask your grown-up to help, into the eggs. Okay? And then keep your pan with the oil that is left, because you'll need that to cook the omelette. Okay, let's pop that back over there. Let's get a spoon to mix the potatoes and the eggs all together. Do you want to do that there? Mm -hmm. Go on then, mix it all together. Make sure the potatoes and the onion is all covered in the egg. All really well mixed up, but don't mix it too hard because we don't want mashed potato omelette. 
Okay, that's a good job. Okay, right. When you've done that, you're going to be able to pour it, Luca. Is it too heavy? A bit heavy. Right, when you've done that, remember this pan is hot, so be careful about putting it down. I'm going to pop it on there and I'm going to pour my eggs and potatoes back into the pan. Can you see they're all really well coated in the, in the beaten eggs? Yeah? I'm going to pour that back into the pan. All in. Make sure there's no potato left in the bowl. No egg left. Fabulous. Right, then we need to make sure all the potato is equal around the pan. Okay, so it looks like this. Can they see if it's like this, Luca? Go and have a look. Okay. Can you see yeah. the pan? Yeah. yeah. So can you see the potatoes all distributed all evenly around the pan? And then it's going to go back onto the cooker. Okay. There should be enough oil so it won't stick. Okay, and I'm going to cook it in there. Sometimes some people like to just move it around a little bit whilst it's in the pan to make sure it's all even. All spread out. But then just leave it, okay? Leave it and just check that it's not burning on the bottom. So don't have your heat on too high. Okay, I'm going to leave it there for a minute. And we'll be able to see when it's ready to turn because the top won't be runny anymore. It'll have set. Okay, go and pause it. Let them do that. You pause your video here and you try that next step. Yeah. Okay, so while it's cooking, just make sure with the instrument like this, you just loosen up the edges a little bit, just to make sure it's not sticking to the bottom of the pan. Okay, and you'll soon see when it's ready to turn over because, can you see the top, it's not runny at all on the top now, so it's pretty much cooked. Now this is the trickiest part and you'll definitely need a grown up to help. When it's like this and it's quite set and it's not runny, it's time to flip it over and we're going to use a plate to help us. Okay, this could be an absolute disaster. Let's have a go. Okay, so I'm going to put the plate on top of the pan. Watch your fingers don't get burnt. Okay, and then I'm going to flip it over and hope that it doesn't stick to the pan and it comes onto the plate. Are you ready? One, two, three. Does it come out? Oh, it looks good. Can you see? That's what it needs to look like. If there's any stuck on your pan, just scrape that bit off. You don't need that bit. Because that will make it burn. So use your pan again. And now you're going to slide it back off the plate, back into the pan. Just to make sure those bits that were not quite cooked on the top before, and now on the bottom okay so there's a bit that was a little bit raw on top that just needs to cook okay so that goes back onto the cooker for another two or three minutes it should look like this pretty much okay so that's going to have another two or three minutes just to cook through any of those raw bits just to make sure they properly cook Okay, Luca, can you pause it? Let everybody just do that. Okay, so it's cooked for another two or three minutes now, and I think it is pretty much all cooked through. Okay, there's no way of really knowing until I flip it out again. I'm going to pop it on there, put the plate on again, watch my fingers because the pan's really hot now, and then see if the other side is all cooked. Oh, there we go. That is actually pretty perfect. Yeah, that's what your finished tortilla should look like. Okay, that is ready to eat now. Now in Spain, they would have it in a sandwich in some nice crusty bread. Okay, it's called un bocadillo de tortilla. Okay, but I've not got any crusty bread today, so I think I'm going to have mine with some salad. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed making it and I hope yours has turned out okay. Thank you, Luca, for your help. You want to say bye? Bye.
Okay, and I can't wait to see photos or videos of you making yours. Okay, have fun and enjoy your tortilla.